This is the story of the end of the Stone Age. About 20,000 years ago, we see Europeans who live in tribes, hunting together. One such tribe is shown whose chieftain's name is Tao. He has come hunting with his tribe to gather food for the winter, but in front of them there is a huge herd of buffaloes. All of them attack the buffaloes, but then we see a wild buffalo running towards Tao's son Keda. Tao tells him to move out of the way, but he gets scared and starts running ahead. The wild buffalo picks him up on his horn and starts running towards the ditch. Seeing all this, Tao attacks a buffalo with his spear to save his son. The spear hits the buffalo, but by then the buffalo had thrown Keda towards the ditch. And from here the story goes into flashback, that is, a week before, where the Tao clan is shown, all of whom are preparing to go hunting to gather food for the winter. The same night, Keda's mother tells Keda's father Tao that I love him very much, and I don't want to lose him. Don't take Keda with you for hunting. He is not ready for hunting yet. Keda's father Tao says that winter is coming, and at this time everyone is going for hunting. If we don't go hunting, we will all die of hunger. This is the time when Keda has to prove itself. Next morning we see these people leaving for hunting. After a very long journey, they reach a stone monument, which was once made by their ancestors. Then we see that another tribe also comes here, who like them, has gone out to hunt, so that they can collect food for the winter. All of them spend the night here, and the next day they go on their way. This path, this journey is very dangerous, because many of their ancestors many have lost their lives in such journeys. That's why a memorial is built there in his memory. Now, as they move ahead, they see a wild boar, which they injure with their spear. Tao tells his son Keda that he will kill him, but Keda is unable to take the life of this helpless person. In such a situation, Tao snatches the stone dagger from his hand and kills the wild boar. And after this he says to Keda that I had never imagined even in my dreams that you would turn out to be so wise. Only the strong can survive here, and this is the law of the jungle. Actually, there is a law among animals in the jungle, where each strong one survives by killing the weak one. And humans also follow this law, where they keep themselves alive by killing those weaker than them. Now in the dark of night, when they are eating their prey, a lion comes here and picks up one of the boys and takes him away. The next morning they build a small memorial in the memory of the boy, and then set out on their further journey in search of prey. Even after leaving the terrible forest, they do not find any prey, they stop at a cave at night, where Tao makes a tattoo on the hand of his son Keda, and tells him that you will see these stars in the night sky, and when you follow them, you will reach back to your home. Actually, this is a kind of indication to go home. After this we see that after dawn, they again go out for their hunting, and then they see the footprints of wild buffaloes, after seeing which they become very happy, and now they reach near the wild buffaloes and start hunting them. And here comes the moment when a wild buffalo threw Keda down the hill. Now the story comes to the present time when Keda was thrown by the buffalo. We see that he fell down the cliff, but he was still holding the rock, which means he was still alive. His father also reaches there and tells Keda that son, do not lose courage. But then the stone which Keda was holding breaks. Keda falls on a small path made of stones, colliding with the stones. Keda's father Tao wants to go down to save her, but the rest of the tribe stops him. He says that there is no way to go there, and now your son is no more in this world. We don't want to lose you, you are the leader of our tribe, it is your responsibility to protect us all, take us all back home. Now Tao has to obey them, but he sits on that rock the whole day and night, and keeps calling his son Keda. But when Keda's voice is not heard till the next morning, they build a stone monument in his memory, and they return home with their prey. After they leave, a vulture sits on Keda, and starts scratching it. But before he can eat it, Keda's eyes open. Actually, Keda had become unconscious and not died. And after this he calls out to his father, but he does not get any answer. Keda tries to climb the rock, but his leg was injured, that's why he was feeling a lot of pain. Then it starts raining there, and Keda falls down into the water, and is saved from falling into the water. After this Keda ties his broken leg with wood and reaches the top of the rock where he sees that a memorial has been built in his name. Seeing this he understands that his father and the people of his tribe have understood this, that Keda is dead. After this Keda spends the whole night on a dry tree. Next morning when he goes to drink water, some wolves attack him. Keda runs back towards the tree, 
but before he can climb the tree, a wolf grabs his leg. Keda injures his leg and climbs the tree. Wolves keep waiting for him below all night. But in the morning when Keda looks down he finds that all the wolves have gone from there. The only wolf there is the one who was injured by Keda. Keda makes a spear for himself from the knife to kill the wolf, but when he goes to kill him, takes pity on him, and he takes him to a cave where he stayed with the people of his tribe. Though he cleans the wolf's wounds. After this we see that when Keda drinks water, the wolf also opens its mouth, and Keda gives him water to drink. Also, Keda gives the insects he was eating to save his life to the wolf too. And now slowly a relationship starts forming between them. Both of them are injured, so they stay in the same cave for a few days. One night Keda looks at the tattoos on his arm that his father made, and after that he sees the same stars in the sky. Keda says I have to go home. Keda says to the wolf, you two should go to your home before it snows. I have to leave for my home. And Keda leaves from here, but he sees that the wolf is continuously following him. Although Keda chases away the wolf many times, he does not leave it. And when the wolf sees a pig, he tries to hunt it, but he is unable to hunt it. Keda realizes that he is hungry, so he gives him worms which he eats himself, and for the first time the wolf eats worms from Keda's hand. That means now both of them have become good friends. Keda names this wolf Alpha. After this Keda moves towards home. Now at night, when both of them are sitting by the fire, some more wolves also come there. Alpha goes to them. Actually, this is Alpha's family. Keda understands after seeing them together. He says you should go with your family, and Alpha goes with his family. And the next morning Keda moves towards his home alone. Now snow had also started falling, and it was very cold, but Keda was continuously moving forward. Then he sees some wolves eating a dead victim, one of which is Alpha. Keda recognizes him so he runs towards him, but then the ice breaks and he falls into the lake. Actually it is a frozen lake. Alpha runs towards him. He also tries to break the ice from above, but the layer of ice is very strong so he is unable to break it, but with a knife that Keda has, he breaks the layer of ice and comes up. And now these two friends meet once again. To protect himself from the cold, Keda takes off his clothes and lights a fire. Next day, when Keda goes for his further journey, he sees a man whom Keda becomes very happy to see. But when he goes near him, Keda sees that he is frozen to death. Keda moves forward with his bow, but then some hyenas attack them, both of them take shelter in a cave to save their lives. But this cave belongs to a lion, who jumps over Keda. But before the lion attacks Keda, Alpha pounces on the lion, and taking advantage of the opportunity, Keda attacks the lion with his bow and arrow. After this, Keda applies ointment on Alpha's wound, and says that you are also one of us, and I will keep you with me for the rest of my life. Now the next morning again, they leave for their further journey where they face the cold and reach the monument, which was built in the memory of his ancestors, where Keda reached the beginning of the journey with his tribe. Was, he is very happy to see the monument because he is on the right path, that means it is not far from your home. After this, they are moving forward through the snowy path but due to being injured, Alpha falls there. Keda lifts Alpha in his lap, but after walking some distance he also gets tired and lies down. Because now he no longer has the strength to move forward, his eyes close. Then he sees a dream. He remembers that night in his dreams before coming on the trip. His mother was worried about him, telling his father not to take Keda with him. Then his father says that he is not as weak as you think him to be. And after seeing this dream, Keda's eyes open, and with all his might he lifts Alpha in his lap and starts moving forward. After traveling for a few hours, he sees his tribe, and he reaches his tribe with Alpha. When the people of the tribe see Alpha in his lap, they are surprised. Because for the first time a human had brought a live wolf to his tribe. When Keda's parents see Keda alive, they are completely surprised, and at the same time they are also very happy. Keda tells his parents to save him, save Alpha, and after this he becomes unconscious. And when Keda regains consciousness, he is inside his house. Alpha is also lying near him in an injured condition. Just then a woman there picks up a small child of Alpha. And she says that you are welcome in this tribe. Actually Keda did not know that Alpha was pregnant. Alpha had already had children, and the tribe had also accepted her. After a few days, both of them get well and are sitting together. And Alpha's children are playing in front. This is the beginning of a new era. 
where humans also started making friends with animals. At the end we see the tribe and the wolves going hunting together. From this story we learn that people who have kindness, love and trust in their hearts, they can win the hearts of not only people but also anyone and can face even the most difficult situations.